This is a continuation of the simple intranet demo series for our uh, WordPress plugin. This one's going to focus on forms. So I'm at the simple intranet menu and I scroll down to create forms. So this brings us to the forms menu. I've already got an expense claim in here, but I'll show you how to create a new form and then insert it in a page or post. So I click on new form and it brings up the form editor so you'll have form settings on your left and the form fields on your right all you have to do is simply click a field and it'll appear into the form on the left uh, what I'll do first though is rename the form to something like vacation request you can edit the description I'll just put edit and if you click elsewhere it'll save it. Uh, it actually won't save it, it'll save it temporarily, you have to still save the form. So let's add some fields, let's go to the advanced fields area, click on name, uh, address, and email and I'm just left clicking each of these and as you see they appear on the left hand side in the form. Um, good idea just to save the form and we don't want to preview it yet we'll just continue editing this form and let's just make sure we've got the right fields if you click on edit any of these fields like name you go down to the properties and you can click things like required make sure that it's a required field um, double click that again and same for uh, address you want to make sure that it's a uh, required field um, you might want to add some other options for country type for the address and so on um, and then email let's make that a required field as well just click on it click on the edit it's a little bit finicky sometimes. It's uh, these fancy forms use Ajax. So what I'm doing is actually you can also that's sort of an interesting thing to show you. You can uh, drag and drop. You want the email first. You put the email first, and then click on the area to no duplicates and the required field. Um, enable email confirmation. Sure, why not? click back on that okay update form and now let's have a little preview of it and see uh, see what this is gonna look like so that's the way we like it email first confirm the email name address these are all required and then you can hit submit so we'll go back and let's create a page and add a new page and then we'll insert this vacation request form in a page or a post. Uh, forms, we'll just put the, the title of the page and just simply use this add form icon next to the add media click insert a form, choose which one vacation request, display the form title the form descriptions. You might not want to put the title in, you might uh, enable Ajax, yes. In this case I'm not putting the title in. Um, then I can put the vacation request up here and then publish it. And so you'll see the short code is in there form with an ID number Let's go view the page to make sure it's nice and fancy. Vacation request. We can put some text there. Email. Yep, so let's just try it. Let's put, uh, I just got an autofill here. And hit submit. And it says thank you for contacting us. We'll be in touch shortly. So we can, we can change that uh, setting back in the forms area too under options 
Um, but that's really basically it. So then you go back to forms. You can have a look at your entries by each form. You can export them to CSV. Um, you can, uh, yeah, you can have a look at, uh, let's see here. Uh, we can see the entries here. Um, you might have to switch form if you've chosen the wrong form that you're looking at. So we want the vacation request form, which we're on. Um, so there you go. You can uh, view the entries and um, change the notification settings uh, for your forms as well. Um, things like... Um, uh, email from and so on, um, how you want to get emails triggered from the form um, to email the, the administrator or however else you want to do it.